Hey guys, 505 Gamer Girl back again for all of your video game news. So, today, I'm gonna start talking about the Retron 5. So y'all remember when I had that video about the Analog NT? Well, get ready Analog, because you're about to get blown out of the water. <laughs> So, this lovely new console called the Retron 5 is a 10-in-1 console that plays everything in 720p. It costs $140 and plays anything from your Super Famicom to your Sega Genesis to your Game Boy Advance games, all in 720p. And, for a fraction of the cost of the Analog NT, this one is only going to cost $140. So, it's a little more pocket-friendly for all my gamers, and it has 10 games compared to the three that the analog NT was able to do. And it will be hitting store shelves. I don't actually don't know if it's gonna be like a brick and mortar store or if it's gonna be an online store shelf shelf. But it'll be coming soon. So if y'all are interested in playing all your old school games, this one's a little bit better than the than the analog NT. Cause it doesn't cost you half of one of your arms and both of your legs. <laughs> so that's a plus. Also, there is a new Guardians of the Galaxy trailer. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Ah, I'll have the link here to the video. Check it out. It looks great. Ah, and it comes out in the best month of all the months in August. August 1st, that is. Also, the new X-Men movie is hitting your theaters today. So I'm rocking my Marvel t-shirt. Good. Um, moving forward. Can't wait for that. Can't wait. Can't wait. Um, the ever so popular Child of Light will be heading to your PlayStation Vita soon. It will be in the US on June 1st and in Europe June 2nd. So y'all in Europe gotta wait a whole nother day. Uh, oh no, what are we gonna do? Mass hysteria. Oh. <laughs> And, obviously, it's only going to be a digital copy, and will cost you a whopping $15, which is a plus. I still have yet to play it on my PlayStation 4, which I love. Uh, and, but I'll give my own opinion of it. If y'all are interested, I'll probably talk about it in one of these videos. Just give my two cents about it, if anyone cares. Also, Legend of Zelda Minish Cap will be coming to the Wii U Virtual Console very shortly. There is not yet a price or release date, but I know the ever-so-popular Legend of Zelda game will be coming soon to your console. So, keep a peeper peeled, people. <laughs> also, Nintendo is releasing a new 2DS color with the release of Tamodachi Life, whatever the hell that game is. I'm really interested in it because we put up a bunch of marketing for it. It kind of looks like, makes me think of Tamagotchi, <laughs> because it's just like, not a simulated pet, it's a simulated person, but it's not Sims. I, I don't, I just, I don't even know, it, it looks funky, but I'm still interested to try it out, so I'll probably end up renting it one of these days, just saying, uh... I want to try this. I just want to see what it's all about because I watched a trailer and it kind of made me feel dumb. Like really dumb. Because of the way... I think it was... um Oh, I was looking it up on my 3DS. I looked at the E3 or the Nintendo Direct thing that they had for Tamodachi Life. I just... The way it was set up was really stupid. <laughs> and it just... It didn't look like it had any effort put into it whatsoever. So I was like... I just, I, I, I don't even know. I have no clue what this game is going to entail or what the point of this game is, but I'm willing to give it a whirl, I guess. Uh. But anyway, getting back to that beautiful new color console. Oh my god, I want it so bad. Oh, it's so pretty. <laughs> Check it out. Isn't it awesome? Oh. I want one so bad. It's called C Green 2DS, which freaking excites me greatly. <laughs> and it will cost the normal $130 just like its previous colors. And we'll be hitting the stores June 6th, like I said, with Tamadachi Life. Cool! But anyway, moving forward. Nintendo has also announced the return of Ike to Super Smash Bros. 3DS and Wii U. So excited! 
because, like, as a kid, Kirby was always my favorite. And he's been my favorite through, like, my entire life, as far as, like, his regular games and him in Super Smash Brothers. I've always had him as a favorite character. He's always my number one. But then as I started getting older, and then it got to Melee, and then it went to Brawl, um, I started using Marth, who has already been confirmed. So seeing that Ike has also been confirmed, I might try him as well. I might have a new character to play. Two new characters to play, technically, because I'm going to try Ike, and then I'm going to try Rosalina and Luma. Oh, it's going to be so much fun. Damn it, I can't wait for Super Smash Brothers. That game needs to have a release date. Because as far as GameStop says, it's coming out December 31st of 2014. For both games. Stupid. Come on, Nintendo. Get your ass in the gear. I want this game. <laughs> a lot. <laughs> but anyway, that's pretty much all the news I've got to talk about today. And I'd like to do a quick shout out for my friend Tyler, who just opened up a new store called Just Get Up Tees today. It is open! Ta-da! So, I'll have the link in my description below, along with his Twitter and Facebook accounts. Go give him a like. Go check out his t-shirt designs. They are awesome! Plus, he's also going to have 20 more designs coming in the near future. Holy crap, talk about planning. Plans! <laughs> That's awesome. Go, so go give him a check out. Tell him I sent you. Tell him I said hi. Woo, Tyler! <laughs> also, just a quick update for my unboxing video coming this Tuesday for Watch Dogs release. Um, I don't yet know when I work. I did volunteer to work the midnight release of Watch Dogs, but I don't know if the boss took it seriously and, like, scheduled me, or if she didn't. I don't know. But... If you are interested in knowing, check out my Facebook page, facebook.com slash 505gamergirl, and I'll pop, most likely post an update then of when I work and when's a good time I should actually do my update, or my unboxing video, since I would be like one of the first in the world, yeah, <laughs> to show you an unboxing of this gorgeous PlayStation 4 Collector's Edition of Watch Dogs. <laughs> the Excite! So like I said, keep checking my Facebook for updates. Also, if you've not done so already, check out Nerdorama Network. Those guys are the bomb, the bomb. The A-bomb, the B-bomb, C-bomb, and even the F-bomb. The frickin' bomb Armageddon. <laughs> so go check them out. I'll have their link down in my description as well. And thank you guys for watching my video, and hello to all my new subscribers. Welcome! I hope you stick with me, because I love having people. I love having people! <laughs> Well, guys, thanks for watching the video again today. Like it, subscribe it, love it. And as always, stay tuned for next week where the game will never end. <laughs>